Hey you guys, it's your girl, The Empress 917, and I'm coming to you with another one, okay? Um, I keep hearing this old school song, I want you here with me. So anyway, um, <laughs> you already know Spirit is in the building as usual. I had a massive headache today, so that's why my energy is like... I mean, it was a powerful headache through the eyes because, you know, I think I had a awakening or a down. I, I've been going through spiritual changes and everything, so it's been taking a, a toll on my body. So forgive me if my energy isn't high right now because that's how it is. It's, it have your energy really, really high. Then it'll have it really, really low. And it's not that I'm vibrating low. It's just, I guess it's time for my body to just, and I'm just been going through like an ascension, I believe y'all, because woo, it's been, it's been tough today, just today, you know? But um, we're going to get to these cards. I want to see what comes out. Okay, Spirit, give me some messages that I need to see. Messages that I need to see from this person's highest self um, or for my collective, wherever I need to go. Show me the way, Spirit, please. Give me clear and concise messages. Um, all right, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. All right. I feel like that there are some things that you're holding in or some secrets that you're keeping. Um, you feel like you have to hold in a lot of emotions right now. You have to um, mask some things right now in order to protect yourself is what I'm hearing. Okay. Come on, please. And thank you, Spirit. Oh, this air is a little cold. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're holding back. Um, I think somebody else may be holding back as well. You're, you're really going through a heartbreak and an ending right now. You know what I'm saying? You know that there's an ending to something. And it may be ending to transition a whole new situation for you. But I feel like it's ending um, a, a, a certain type of perspective that you have on the situation at hand that you're going through. But I feel like there is going to be... Um, a rebirth in a situation that you're in now yes uh, seven of wands I really feel like that um, <clears throat> you're blocking things out right now you're very much so um, blocking things out and due to you blocking things out you're gonna have some new beginnings somewhere um, maybe with money I feel like you're gonna have new beginnings I feel like people are focusing on their money and you're really um, taking the leap of faith um, to listen to your intuition now and that's what I'm going through like I told you it's an ascension that I've been going through 333 as I say that and it's really been tough today like I've been like whoa like I woke up cutting things off like I'm not doing this anymore I'm not doing that anymore it's like like an epiphany has hit you um, and I feel like that's what I'm going through as well so I am a part of the collective it may have been something. It may have been something that you have been overindulging in, um, that d just maybe felt like you had a, that had a a tight hold on you, and you felt like you couldn't get a grasp on it. You know what I'm saying? And you were conflicted in your head about it. But I feel like um, this this whole ordeal, this whole situation, will transition. You just have to make sure that. Um, you protect yourself and your aura while you're doing so. Uh, protect your your will, um, your well-being, things of that nature. Step into your empowerment. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Yes, you've been all in your head um, thinking about a situation. You feel like you've been stuck, you know, and, and that's why, like I said, you feel like that is something that, that had a hold on you and you've been stuck. So you felt like, okay, let me work on my, my money. 
I need to work on my money a little bit more because this I need to just strengthen my money because you feel like that's something that you can control you can't control other things but you feel like you can um, block things out and control your money that's what you feel like at this given time I feel like you're coming out of a lost and regret at this given time I do I feel like that you're stepping into a happy period in your life you're about to um, you're probably about to find someone who makes you happy or somebody is going to come back see how he's in the back and she's like paying attention to her own thing but he's in the back um, he's about to somebody's about to approach you somebody that's been holding back they want a new stable beginning with you as well or there may be something that a job or something that's circulating back to you because um and it's going to make you happy as well okay because it's time for you know something or someone has noticed the the work you put in you see what I'm saying? Notice how the work. Notice that you are like wish fulfillment. You are. Notice that, okay, wow, this person is best for this job. Or wow, this person is best for me. So I feel like, yeah, somebody's going to come in rushing in to you, okay? Um, or this job opportunity may come rushing in to you. It's going to start a new passion and beginning for you about something. Something that you're passionate about is going to come to you, okay? Yeah, there has been a judgment that has been called, like an enlightenment, like, oh, wow, this person is it. Like I said, that that's what's going on. Somebody or some, some job, company, career thinks that you're it, okay? And they want to hold on to you. They very much so want to hold on to you. They blocked you at first, but they know that, wow, this is the person. This is the person. And we may be talking about an emperor coming up. You know what I'm saying? This person has grown up. This person has 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 noticed that, okay, I've taken inventory on myself and in my life. So now I know that this is, this is exactly what I need. Yeah, this person has been resting. And because they've been trying to get their money together and stable, okay? I don't know if I should show that card right there. But, uh, but... Um, this person is getting stable or this job is going to make you very stable and, and make you feel like that you are in control of your life now, okay? I also see you all taking action on your life, uh, becoming un entrepreneurs and things of that nature or meeting an um, entrepreneur or an uh, entrepreneur is going to come back to you, okay? But something is coming to you. Something that you love is coming back to you, okay? Yeah, because at first you weren't really um, listening to spirit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's Or this person kind of left spirit, Um high and dry didn't listen to what what the, or, or lack the wisdom but now these people or this person or this job whatever it is has now they know the knowledge now they don't lack um the wisdom or the ability not to commit so a commitment is coming your way um because you've laid down some seeds you've sown your ships are about to come in okay um there is an apology coming your way um by somebody even coming to you and offering you a job that's like sort of an apology we're sorry that we let you go but uh we would like for you to come back they might not say they're sorry that they let you go but they're going to say we 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 review things and we, we really want you back because we feel like you're an asset to this company or this business or this job opportunity or this career or this relationship. Somebody really feels like you are an asset and not a liability. They misjudged you as if you were a liability before because you were going through some things. But now that you're not going through these things anymore and you're stepping up and you're being the person that you were always called to be. But see, people go through things, okay? You're going to go through those moments where it's like, oh wow boom okay this this is a turn that's what that tower is about unexpected events are happening to us every day unexpected things happen to us you money may be low whatever the case may be but you're not going to stay in that point forever and people got to understand you cannot judge a book by its cover you need to open it up and see what's going on you might find the greatest gift when you start reading that book 
okay yeah nine of pentacles you're about to be abundant okay some abundance is about to come your way you're about to have victory six of wands mm -mm -mm. There may be some type of, look, three of cups, reconciliation with a job, reconciliation with a, with a person. Reconciliation is coming in the door because it is always faded. It's, it's been faded that way. Nobody can change your fate. People who have came in and tried to change your fate and act like you are not who you are, lies. You are. You are all of who you said you are, okay? Yeah. This is about to be a new, you're about to birth some new things, Ace of Cups. You're about to birth some new things in your life. And it's about to be so spectacular for you. You know what I'm saying? Just real talk, it's going to be wonderful for you, for you to birth these things. Because it's things that you never thought that were going to happen. This is unbeknownst to you. This is about to happen. Somebody is about to seven of pentacles. Invest, okay? Somebody is about to invest because they know that you are a star. Somebody is about to invest because they know that you are where abundance is. It doesn't matter if it's money. It doesn't matter if it's love. It doesn't matter if it's talent. It doesn't matter what it is. They understand now. Somebody understands your worth and your abundance, and that's important. That's important. Recognize who I am. Respect who I am. You don't even have to recognize it. You don't even have to love it. But you do have to respect it. Okay? Show me the outcome, spirit. Show me the outcome. Show me the outcome, please and thank you, spirit. Show me the outcome. Show me the outcome, please and thank you, spirit. I'm out here watching the sunset. Lord knows I love to watch the sunset, y'all. It's like a be those beautiful colors. Like, it's like a rainbow of chakra. You know, it's just, it just really puts me in the, in the mood of happiness when I see the sunset. So I'm watching the sunset as I do this reading. I needed it because, like I said today, my energy been like, woo. <laughs> my energy has been everywhere. So, um, and I think it's because I am going through an ascension. I meditated and I prayed uh, for clarity and um, for a lot of things. I just did a long prayer and I believe God just said, here we go, like that. And I was like, whoa, God, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, 1224, as I say that. Sometimes we have to um, go with spirit and go with the flow. I'm always trying to go with the flow. And I'm always trying to create peace in my life. So I can always give you peace when I get on here on this internet and show y'all what's going on with this tarot. I always try to be better, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't interrupt anybody else's peace. And if I feel like I'm interrupting your peace, I will back up from you, you know what I'm saying? And it's nothing wrong with that. Don't interrupt anybody's peace. What Tabitha Brown say? Honey, you have yourself a good day. And in, in, in the event that you can't have yourself a good day, don't you go around here messing up nobody else's day. 1303. And I really believe that, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, there is an unexpected tower coming. Something that you don't know is going to come is what Spirit is saying. And I feel like this is a good tower though. This is a good tower for you. I don't think it's anything bad. I think it's something that will shock you. Um, 1322, as I say that, I think it's something that is really good for you. Um, yes, um, the Ace of Swords. You know what I'm saying? There's some truth that's about to come out to you. Yeah. And it's going to help you from being stuck, stagnant, um, in agony, anxiety, anxious. It's going to stop you from being that way, okay? It's going to really stop you from being that way when this truth comes out. But y'all know what? Meditate and pray is what I'm hearing for the advice. Um, you know, people don't understand when you pray to God, it's like praying to a friend. Like a friend that you will never, ever have in this 3D world. Ever. And the thing in 1404 is I say that. And the thing is, the more you pray. Ooh, I get chills as I say that. Okay, God. The more you pray. And he, and, and he just said, I want you to pray again tonight. I, I don't, Lord, this, 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 what you gave me is today was like, whew, energy. But, um, thank you though. I thank you for it. Um, but the more you pray, 1433, as I say that, the more you pray, the more you're going to get into what it is that whatever it is that's bothering you whatever it is you don't think 1444 as i say that whatever it is that you don't think 
it's going to work out. You're going to get those answers immediately. You're going to get those phone calls immediately. You're going to get that money immediately. You're going to get that relationship immediately. Now, time is very fluent. We got to understand that. 1503 as I say that. Time is so fluent. So, it may take forever in our world. But God said it's going to happen like that. Before you open your eyes, before you turn around, 15, 15, as I say that, before you just look around again, you, it's going to be solved, is what Spirit said. The problem is going to be solved. It's going to be balanced out. Take a leap of faith, you guys. Take a leap of faith. And what it is is that when I say take a leap of faith, take a leap of faith on God. Somebody is not praying and meditating is what Spirit said. And Spirit has always been, Spirit been on me lately about meditating. And I'm going to do that tonight. I'm going to take my spiritual bath and I'm going to meditate tonight, okay? So let's do that. Let's meditate. Let's, well, you know what? I'm going to start setting up dates where we're going to, met, we're going to uh, have a massive meditation day or a massive uh, prayer day. Like some something like, um, the, um, what's her name? Oh my God, I can't say her name on here, but I love her. Um, 1606, as I say that, her name, what is her name? The Ghetto Nun. She's always saying Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine or whatever she was. But anyway, I love her and she has a massive prayer day. Um, I think that's her name. I don't want to butcher her name. She's called herself Cockfrost. But anyway... I love her reading. She's so beautiful and intuitive. Her spirit is beautiful as well. But um, she has massive prayer days, and I think that every channel should have that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, try to implement massive meditation days and prayer days in my, you know, just for us to. When it's massive, I even want to do it on her days when she does it, because when it's massive, it's, it shows, it, it, you know, there's numbers, there's power in numbers, and if all of us are praying, we can't go wrong, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So let's go get a secret garden card really quickly, Spirit. What do you want to say about this about um, this reading to my collective with the secret garden? Self-care, okay? Tend to your garden. Now it's just time to tend to your garden. And listen, be alert, okay? The soft chiming bells calling you, calling, calling to fairies, okay? Nearby fairies. So the thing is and be patient okay wait for the fruit to ripen so be patient because um you know it's time for you to self-care it's time for you to meditate it's time for you to get into who you are you know i know a lot of times we want to get into you know what these divine masculines are doing and things of that nature but just think of it like this the more you pray and the more you um lay that down and give it to god the better off that person will be the better you make yourself, the better that person will be. And the closer you will be to a union if that's what you desire, okay? All right, y'all. I love you guys. Um, have a happy, happy, happy day. And uh, well, night. And I'll see you later. Peace, you guys.